Fam, today we are going to be doing a grocery haul of epic proportions. It's going to be a cutting grocery haul, so I'm going to show you guys what all I get at the grocery store to put into my cutting arsenal um, and show you some more tips and tricks along the way for cutting that I didn't post in the last tips and tricks cutting video from last week. Um, so, first, we're going to go to Kroger because that's where I usually buy all my food. Then, we're going to go to the new Sprouts because word on the street is that's where they have all the new Arctic Zero flavors. So I'm hoping the flavors are still there and they're not all picked through. Um, we will see. So come along with me and I will see you guys at Kroger. So before I show you the grocery haul, I want to show you exactly what I have. It's kind of barren in my pantry, but I just want to show you guys what all I got going on. So we got all kinds of sweeteners. A bunch of baking stuff that I use. My nut butter collection. Some protein pancake mixes. Um, that's pistachio butter, by the way. Super good. Oatmeal. Grits. More oatmeal. My oatmeal. And my protein powder. My favorite protein powder is Muscle Farm. I am not sponsored by anybody. Straight up on the reel. That is just the best tasting protein powder I've ever had. So, um, There is some isolate. And then those are a bunch of like little sample things that I have randomly. So um, That's my BCAAs and pre-workout. I use carbon. Super good. Some fish oil and some multivitamin and glucosamine and creatine and my Japanese candy supply. <laughs> my best friend sent me, these, sent me these from Japan. Um, so I look forward to high carb days because of all these. We got more candy stash and some random taco seasoning, <laughs> uh, but yeah, mini Cadbury eggs all up in there, and yeah, that's my candy stash. Oh yeah, this is what I do, by the way, I put all my pills in one bag, so I don't have to like open three of them every day, it's kind of lazy, but it kind of saves time, so tip of the day. This is my refrigerator, totally barren, not much stuff in there at all right now, but this is what I got going on. We've got eggs, and this is like <laughs> overflowing drawer. Um, those are some high fiber wraps, some laughing cow cheese, some um, turkey, turkey pepperoni, real cheese, because I like real cheese sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Some um, single, that's really good macros. Craft singles. And la 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 la. Tons of cashew milk. I use that every day. Um, and diet root beer. My favorite diet soda. And this is on my door. We've got light butter. Some salsa that I need to throw away. <laughs> um, I think I have like six different Bolt House Farms dressings in there because I'm obsessed with those. The macros are great. And we've got more Bolt House. <laughs> that mayo, the olive oil mayo is awesome. Great macros. Of course, Walden Farms everywhere. Of course. And that is about it. More Bolt House Farms. Alright, so that is what's in my pantry, in my fridge, so you can kind of see what I got. Oh yeah, Vita Fiber. I use that when I make like high fiber, macro friendly treats. It is the secret recipe for life. Alright, this is my freezer. 
there's really nothing in there at all. Some frozen vegetables, and that's about it. But hopefully, we got to stock it up with some Arctic Zero. I always have to make a list when I go grocery shopping. So I start my list like the beginning where I'm going to start out, which is the vegetables, and I end it in the freezer section. So started out, got some of these veggies, broccoli, slaw, carrots, and mushrooms, and then some bananas because I use that a lot for baking bananas. Cashew milk, of course, shirataki noodles. That is a major staple for cutting because it has like, I think, 20 calories in a bag. This is my favorite bread, Healthy Life Bread. Check out those macros. I get that every single time I go to the grocery store. All right, baking aisle time. So I got some butter flavoring for a recipe. Um, and then I got some Splenda. And I want to tell you guys something about zero, quote unquote, calorie sweeteners. A lot of times they're actually not zero calories. And when you're cutting, that can actually be important because you may increase your frequency of use. Um, with those products and you may be eating a lot more than you actually think you are. So for instance, the stevia is three grams of carbs per serving, which is three grams. So that's one carb per gram of the product, which can be significant if you're adding a lot of it to your recipe. So be careful with that. That's why I'm actually using Splenda right now. It has less calories in it. So a little interesting fact for you. Uh, I also always get Pam instead of like cooking oils because this is zero calories. And I love fat-free 25-calorie hot chocolate. And, of course, got to get that cocoa powder. I love the dark chocolate kind. And I love marshmallows. So I always get those, cutting or not. Um, love these mini, mini morsels because they're great for baking more surface area than, like, a bigger, chunkier kind. Always get... This sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix for baking. And, of course, I'm all about some chicken. All right, applesauce, like bananas, makes recipes more moist. I hate that word, but it's true. <laughs> um, of course, it is Easter season, so I have to have peeps because I love marshmallows. I love putting them in the microwave and making them huge. Of course, Walden Farms pancake syrup. got to stock up. And center cut bacon, amazing macros, best bacon macros you will ever see. And egg whites, but of course. And light butter, six grams of fat, zero carb, zero protein. And then carb masters, great. These Greek whips are great macros for yogurt. And these Chiobani, or however you say that, Simply 100, 100 calories, they're wonderful if you can find those. Delish. Okay, so this Greek cream cheese, you can see the macros there. It's not actually as good of macros as just the fat-free cream cheese. Just wanted to throw that out there to you guys. Um, and also, so for Cow Pals versus Laughing Cow, the Laughing Cow tastes significantly better than the cow pals, if you get, have that at Kroger. So I would go with Laughing Cow. Um, and these Kraft Singles are the best cheese macros you will ever find, the skim milk kind. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. I'm super stoked because we are getting wine in our grocery stores in a couple months, so really excited. Yeah, Tennessee, finally stepping your wine game up. Okay, that had nothing to do with this, but anyway. Um, I love these. They're zero calorie. They're awesome. You can put them in water. Also, I like to drink a gallon of water a day, so got a new thing of that. I love these carbonated zero calorie drinks. Um, the Kroger ones, like the Kroger brand, is really good. They have this pineapple coconut one that is to die for. And I also wanted to give the peach a try. And these are my two favorite diet drinks. And I did not get any rice cakes. I am not really a rice cake fan. I know a lot of people are all about them, but I think they taste kind of like cardboard and they're not worth the calories. 
but Oreos are worth the calories. So I got a family size thing of Oreos because hashtag balance, yo. And I was looking, I've been looking for the fat-free Pringles. And if anybody knows where you can get those, that'd be awesome. They have disappeared from shelves. Don't know what's up with that. 100 calorie popcorn bags are amazing for cutting. They are so good. So much volume. Spray it with some zero calorie butter spray, but not too much. And then add some salt to it, and it's so good. Fiber One cookies are amazing. And Yasso, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> the little ice cream bars. Great macros on that. Great macros on these Weight Watchers giant ones. They're huge. They're like massive bars. So, and if you saw my last video, you know I'm all about gum during cutting. It's really a great way to curb your appetite. And, uh, going down that candy aisle. But again, gotta have that balance in your life. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, I got my favorite candy bar. Using some of it for a recipe, but some of it just to eat because I freaking love it. It is this beautiful Hershey's Oreo cookies and cream candy bar. It is the best candy bar money can buy. Here's another cutting tip from my friend Hannah DeVore who is literally a pro at cutting. Um, get frozen vegetables like these and put them into Tupperware, whatever you're going to eat, because you can just heat them up in the microwave and eat them with your meal that you're preparing. It's super easy meal prep. It's like actually the easiest thing you can ever do, and it works great. Hashtag didn't do it for the gram. This is the messiest cart you will ever see. I obviously did not put this on Instagram, guys, <laughs> but this is the final product of the day. And for the people that ask how expensive my grocery hauls are, here you go. And this is me running and jumping on my cart because I'm a child. I was extremely disappointed when I got to the Sprouts. They had this pecan flavor, which was cool. It was good. And then I found one brownie batter flavor. And there was nothing in there, you guys. It was like all the old flavors that I could just get at Kroger. I was so bummed. So, oh, I did get that um, cookie dough one because I like that one. I can never find that one. So I got the ones that I can't find. But, better luck next time. I also found this, which I am eager to try. I'll let you know how it goes. It's probably really good. Uh, but the Salted Caramel Arctic Zero Bar. So, pretty cool. Never thought that they had those. So, I saw recently that McDonald's has a Cadbury McFlurry only in... Canada and the UK. So I decided I would make my own Merca. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile? And darling, I will be loving you till we're 17 And baby, my heart can still feel us hard at 23 And I'm thinking about how people fall in love in a mysterious way Maybe just a touch of a Alright y'all, I'm about to finish this amazing Cadbury McFlurry, so please like and subscribe, and I'll see you 
next week.